Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Humble here and today I'm bringing you a brand new upload. If you're clicking on this video, you already know it's going to be how to improve on keyboard and mouse 10 times faster in only a week. You may be asking yourself, is this really possible? And I promise you it is. If you follow these steps strictly, there are going to be some pretty unique tips guys that I bet you haven't seen anywhere else. So make sure you stick through, watch this whole video all the way through to get the most information possible and the most improvement possible. Also guys, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch every single day. I'm going to be doing a push for Twitch partnership soon and I'll be playing with viewers on there, doing 1v1s, free builds, etc. The link will be in bio if you guys want to follow my Twitch. And without further ado, just make sure you guys like and subscribe if you enjoy this video and let's get right into it. All right guys, so coming right at you with the first tip and I promise you this one's going to take you by surprise especially since if you know me i'm a very fast editor but my first tip is actually not to do edit courses and i'll explain what i mean so a lot of people when they first get onto keyboard and mouse or even if they're somewhat new to keyboard and mouse they've done it for a couple weeks or a month or whatever they like to do a lot of edit courses because I kind of consider it an ego boost. If you do an edit course when you're new, it's pretty easy on keyboard and mouse compared to what it was on controller. But let me explain why you're messing up there and you're creating bad habits. So if you guys can picture it like this, when you're editing uh, in a edit course, you're editing pre-built walls and floors and everything's pre-built. So all you're doing is clicking your edit bind and dragging and getting through the edits but you're messing up your timing there. Cause if you think about it, when you're actually editing and building in game or in one V ones or zone wars, you have to place the builds and do the edits all at the same time. And that's the timing you should be focusing on. You guys should be inside of creative practicing, putting, placing walls, and then editing walls, placing stairs, editing stairs, not just sitting in edit courses with everything pre-built. I promise you that's giving you guys a bad habit, messing up your timing. Don't do that. A lot of people do. Okay guys, so now getting into another huge mistake a lot of people make when trying to improve. Do not drop soft when you guys are playing solos or duos or whatever it might be. Make sure you guys are dropping hot. Make sure you're W king. Make sure you're getting in more and more engagements as possible. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys can understand why this is true, but a lot of people have a bad mentality and they're trying to sweat and play soft and win these games when they're switching to keyboard and mouse or trying to improve. And that's simply not a good strategy. You should be maximizing the amount of fights here and ensure You'll definitely be dying a lot more by doing this. I'm not denying that. But the more engagements you're getting in, the more times you're dying and learning from your deaths, I'm telling you guys, that's a massive way to improve. It's what anybody who, you know, is worth their salt is going to do when making the switch. I want you guys to think about it like this. If you and your friend both have been on keyboard and mouse for one week, let's say, and you guys are competitive with each other. If your friend is dropping really soft and not taking a lot of fights, I bet you he's going to win more games in the first week and maybe the first month or even two months. But guess what? Something will start to happen over time. If you're taking more engagements and being more disciplined in your training, more and more fights, you're going to learn more. You're going to improve a lot faster and he will plateau from playing so soft. So just to give you guys something to think about there and let's get into my next tip. Okay, guys, and this is going to be the most important tip if you want this 10x strategy to work properly. And if you are clicking on this video and you're right here listening to me right now, you have to follow through with this. For the next week, the next seven days, and I know this is going to be hard for you. Yes, I know you're watching right now in anticipation. You cannot change your sensitivity or binds for the next week. I see such a big issue with people changing their binds so much, chasing this person's binds, that pro's binds, this creative warrior's binds, this sense, that sense. You're not allowed to for the next seven days. You hear me? You got to keep the same binds and sense. I promise you. And you can get good on literally any binds, guys. It doesn't matter, okay? Of course, there's certain binds that are more optimal and less optimal in certain sense that's, you know, the same way, less or more. But guess what? There are professional players and insane mechanical players on every sense, binds, edit on release, no edit on release, uh, single edit bind, triple edit bind, it doesn't matter, guys. You can get good on anything. All it comes down to is the hard work. Do not chase binds, guys. All right, guys, getting right into my next tip. And this is going to be an interesting one for a lot of you, and it's going to be a big challenge. But make sure you guys are using weapons you're not comfortable with. I remember when I first switched to keyboard and mouse, I found myself really leaning on my pump, and I still do, and being really scared to swap to finish kills, and that was messing me up. Um, a big part of this whole switch, uh, here's a bigger tip within this, this tip, just uh, this whole thing. Doing things that you're uncomfortable with that will cause you to do worse in the short term. So you're going to die more trying to switch weapons at first. 
but it will accelerate your rate of growth to this, you know, 10 times what we want. You know, it's going to get you actually moving forward instead of sitting in the exact same place every day, just trying to play for the win for that day instead of playing for the long game, taking all those mistakes on the chin. This is, you know, what we're talking about. Practice switching weapons, practice using things you're not comfortable with. It's so important for the long term, you know, switch of keyboard and mouse, and it's going to help you guys improve at such a faster rate. So, yeah, guys. Honestly, that concludes this video. I just wanted to get something quick in for the day. So make sure you guys like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, you found it brought you any value at all. It's been your boy Delirium Humbo. You guys already know where to find me on the Twitch streams every single morning. Link in bio. And yeah, guys, without further ado, I'm gonna let y'all have a good day, man. Peace.